Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We all know that everything in this world has a shelf life. You, me, this computer I'm recording on, this phone that I'm reflecting, the, uh, the game onto the computer. Uh, but we've said goodbye to some uh, pretty surprising Kabam and Marvel uh, properties in the last couple of years. I, I do think I was on record of saying that Realm of Champions was destined to have a short shelf life. I just feel like I would not have downloaded this game had I not seen what I now know is Symbiote Spidey. I saw it and was like, wait, is Venom in a Spidey suit? Like, like the Spider-Man cartoons of the 90s or even that terrible version of Spider-Man in Spider-Man 3 with Venom? And I downloaded it. Like, that's why. If I didn't have a connection to Spider-Man... And it was a fighting game with the commercial on the computer or TV because I saw multiple on multiple devices. I would not have downloaded it. So if you create a game with people whose champions are unknown and you don't have that loyalty, you're just kind of destined to, to bite the dust. Well, unfortunately, despite the fact that we now have 250 total champions uh, as of the two new champions entering this month of the contest, according to... Kabam Jacks from the live stream, which is pretty like 250 champions. By the way, that is uh, officially, like if you're going for a specific champion, let's just say, and it's not true, but let's say eventually all 250 champions enter the six star basic crystal, for example. Well, get this. That means that you have well under half of 1%. You have like a 0.3% chance to land on the champion you're targeting, uh, or 0.03%. To, to put that into comparison, that's about what it is to get like a six-star Nexus out of a Cavalier Crystal, or like a the best rarity of Punisher out of an Arena Crystal you're opening, or an Immortal Iron Fist from the looks of it. So here we have all these champions we know, and thankfully, at least I think it's thankfully, this game has not bit the dust yet. However, and there is a however, my man Blackbeard contacted me today and he said, and I quote, I've got the title for your next video, Another Marvel Game Bites the Dust. And so in honor of him, that is what this video will be titled. And he sent me this Marvel Future Revolution, Marvel Future Revolution End of Services Notice. Now I gotta be honest, I haven't heard of this game, but surely there are people out there that play it. Marvel Future Revolution. Greetings, agents. You know, when I say greetings, YouTube, I feel like I um, I made up that phrase. I, I really didn't steal it from anything. And so now I'm seeing all these greetings messages and I'm like, is somebody ripping me off somehow? We want to first say thank you to our agents who have shown their love and support toward the game for so long. Agents from across the world started their journey into Marvel Future Revolution on August 25th, 2021. So that's a very new game. That is a pandemic era game that started after 2020. But when you consider that I started playing MCOC in 2015, I think some of you told me it was 2014 you started playing maybe? This is, uh, this is a baby compared to MCOC. And now it is with heavy hearts and much consideration that we have decided to end our services on August 25th, 2023. We have strived to exceed the expectations of our agents since launch, but now the futures of primary Earth must come to an end. We thank our agents who have stayed with us until the end, especially after the after the R announcement. Maybe um, editing could have helped this company to begin scaling back the size of our updates in October of 2022. So the game launched in tw August 25th of 2021, and only about a year later they came out with an announcement scaling back the size of their updates. That is not a good sign when you've barely been around for a year and you're already scaling back. Uh, which we know disappointed quite a few of our agents. Well, yeah, when you pour money into something and then all of a sudden the writing's on the wall for the game to end, that's pretty terrifying. By the way, whenever a company sends out these messages to their players, because you know at some point, and hopefully it's not soon, but all things come to an end. When MCOC does this, they will have already contacted Google Play and Apple I'm guessing long before, but safely at least before the players here, because you know that the first thing people do is they request refunds immediately because who cares if you have negative units for a game that's the Titanic. It's it's not just a sinking ship, it is going into the ocean. RIP, probably too soon, even though it's been over 100 years for the reference, but you get the idea. 
Kabam contacts them and Google Play and Apple says, sorry, we know the game's coming to an end. No refunds. So just remember that for the future because I'm sure people will still be angry despite my reminder warning. In-game purchases will be disabled as of June 2nd. Wow. We once again thank our agents for encouraging us with their love for the game. And we are grateful to finish our joint journey in Marvel Future Revolution with good memories. This also looks like it was written on like a Microsoft Word document. Um, man. Well, RIP. Any of you play this? Marvel Future Revolution? Uh, again, I, I've never heard of it, but maybe somebody did. I don't expect, despite the fact that Kabam has laid off a percentage of their employees for MCOC to die this year, I'll be very surprised if this is the last year of the game. With that being said, the writing's on the wall that the support for mobile games in general is not what it used to be financially. It's not what it used to be on YouTube. It's just, it's transitioning like all electronic media. And so I'm very thankful that I never have to depend on a single penny from YouTube to pay my bills. But at the same time, you know, it's also kind of eye-opening when you're used to gaining, say, $5 for a video and now you're making about 50 cents. Don't do it for the clicks. Do it for the community. That's what keeps me going anyway. And as long as this game is here, hopefully this community will be right behind it. 